those that have survived here. Survived the after parties, braved the morning cold, to come to a 10 o'clock event. Coffee. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you, appreciate you, there we go, appreciate you all being out this weekend. Today, we decided, you know, on Saturday, it's a nice, easy last day. Let's just do, you know, just basic topic. We won't do anything controversial. We'll just do something on repealing the Patriot Act and ending the Federal Reserve, you know? <laughs> Just the basics. So, uh, as you all know, as we've talked about several times already, Patriot Act came up for a vote earlier this week for an extension of three provisions. Uh, all the media had it reported that it was easily beaten, that the leadership had nothing to worry about. I think one outlet already had it written up. Uh, it was a GOP set to easily pass Patriot Act. And a couple hours later, despite numerous arm twisting, I, we were watching the vote at Campaign for Liberty. And you could see the yays and the nays on the Republican side flipping back constantly. So it was, people were constantly switching votes. We were like, oh wait, there's 26 Republicans against. There's 21 Republicans against. Oh wait, there's 27, 22. It just kept going back and forth and back and forth. And finally, we beat the Patriot Act. So. But I'll add to that, on that one vote. They're going to try it again on Monday. They're going to have a simple majority this time. And they are really putting the pressure on their freshmen. On Thursday, they had a meeting where they brought in some of the, uh, a members only meeting where they brought them in to talk with the uh, chairman of the judiciary and I believe the intelligence committees. So they wanted to make sure that they were sitting up and flying right from now on. So we've got our work cut out for us. We've got to keep the pressure on from our side. We've got to make sure that they stick to the votes they had before and that we add to our ranks and that we keep beating it, not just on one vote, but on every vote, every time they try to bring it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get things going today. Our first speaker is Ivan Eland. He is a senior fellow and director of the Center on Peace and Liberty at the Independent Institute. He's, new, he's author of numerous books, uh, one of which includes Recarving Rushmore, Ranking the Presidents on Peace, Prosperity, and Liberty. And you may have seen Dr. Paul's interview with Mr. Eland here on C-SPAN not too long ago. So we'll go ahead and get started today with Mr. Ivan Eland. <laughs> 